welcome to the Saluda Factory Interpretive Center here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that Riverbanks is actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places? This 170-acre site dates back to the 1800s, and inside this door, you're going to find relics that connect the river banks to the Civil War to you. Well, here inside the Interpreter Center, we have some artifacts from the factory itself, like this probably a flywheel pulley and a counterweight. And over here on this wall, we have lithographs that were published in 1865 of what the mill in this area actually looked like at the time of the Civil War. This building is right where we're standing. This is actually the, uh, the mill itself. We're standing right where it was, and uh, the Union troops, when they crossed the river, they actually burned this mill because it was producing more materials for the South. There was actually a battle here during the Civil War. Union troops were up here in the upper floors, shooting down at Confederate troops that were on the other side that were trying to prevent the Union engineers from building a pontoon bridge across the river. And here we have some artifacts we think are from the Civil War era, including this stirrup that was found on one of the bridge uh, pylons that are out there in the river now, and a horseshoe, and a piece of an old iron. And here we have a reproduction of a letter that was written by Brigadier General John Winder, who was in charge of the prisoner of war camp on the top of the hill that was called Camp Sorghum. But these artifacts only tell part of the story. A visit to Riverbank's Botanical Garden almost always includes time to, well, stop and smell the roses in our antique rose garden. But it's here you'll also discover a gateway to the past. We're leaving Riverbank's formal garden and walking into the Saluda River Valley, which has been continuously occupied by humans for at least 15,000 years. At that time, elephants and lions lived here, but things are different now. Well, this is a woodland walk, and as we go down the hill towards the river, you'll notice that the air gets a lot cooler. And if you listen, you can't hear anything but the sound of the river flowing over the rapids. And this is a beautiful hardwood forest that grew up since the end of the Civil War. If you look at a lithograph during that time, all these trees were cut down. Throughout this site, we have these tremendous boulders been exposed by the river. And actually one over here is called Sherman's Rock, which has an overhang. Legend is that he slept under that rock before crossing the river. But a Brigadier General of the Union Army doesn't sleep under a rock. He slept in a house on this side, which the Union Army burned as they left the next day. As we continue along the path, we make our way to the burned ruins of the old Saluda factory, one of South Carolina's oldest textile mills that would ultimately become one of the largest cotton mills in the South. The factory was built here because there's a change in elevation between the Piedmont and this side and the upper coastal plain over there. Big change in elevation, so water runs downhill. That creates a lot of energy. So they built a dam out into the river. It diverted the water through this raceway, which ran under that wall over there and powered the big wheels, which actually turned the engines, the machines that were in the factory. A lot of the large stone blocks that were used to build both the factory and the Saluda River Bridge were mined right here on site. And we can see evidence of that right here. In this big boulder, holes were drilled into this rock, and then iron bars were hammered into it, and that split the rock. As you can see right up here, this piece came off, and then they would square that off to make a building block. And if you look right here, you can actually see a metal piece of that expanding bolt that's still stuck in that hole. You can retrace more history along the river trail. And our journey ends here at the Saluda River footbridge, connecting the garden to the award-winning Riverbank Zoo. From here, you can view large granite abutments, as well as the remnants of what were once supporting the pure foundations of the old State Road Bridge. In the mid-1800s, there was a bridge here that connected the old State Road from the Low Country to Columbia, and it crossed right here. Now, during the Civil War, Confederate troops burned that bridge to try to keep Sherman's army out, but of course they didn't. Sherman's army the next day built a pontoon bridge that it connected to these bridge abutments that are still out there. They crossed the river, and the rest is history. I don't know about you, but I sure learned a lot today, and there's a whole lot more exploration you can do. You know, whether it's wild animals and wild adventures, or a trip through history, it's true. Riverbank Zoo and Garden is a treasure for everyone to enjoy.